They're all kind of in touch in a minute, okay? Okay. But I just want to introduce myself, not to scare you or make you care or anything, but I'm Chris Baggett, and this is Terry Hardy. How do you do, sir? Um, obviously, we're all involved in this. Yes, sir. You know, hey, it's a big deal. This is the one you need to talk to. So. Okay, is he ready for me? Yeah. You want me to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got a little bored. Make a smiley face, huh? No, actually, I started thinking of the movie My Bloody Valentine. Hey, again, man, we appreciate you coming in. Well, anything to help. Anything at all. Um, just trying to get some things cleared up. Told you. Longhorns. Hey, buddy. Gators look good on top of that. Oh, no. I'm stuck with my longhorns, man. So, Brandon, you, you drove your truck down here, is that yours? No, sir, it's my truck. Cool. And you know you know, you can leave for any, any time, right? Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yes, sir. What we're doing, we got the door closed, in case, you know, there's, as you know, there's other people in there. Yeah. for privacy only, and if you feel like you you want to leave, you're free, free to leave at any time, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm here uh, until justice is found. Well, hopefully we're on the right track. Well, you know, we... We talked lengthy last night, you know, about, about different situations here. Uh, you, you assisted in trying to, you know, identify the car, or vehicle, and working with the, uh, with helping us with the video and everything. What we got, we picked up. I just want to look you to look at this, and is that pretty much the thing? Yeah, that's, that's the vehicle. Thing. It's going to in the video. That's the video at your house? Mm-hmm. Are your mom and dad's house? Mm-hmm. Okay. Told you the windows were locked out. You did say that, didn't you? I pay attention to the details. I went to that military school. Okay, let's, let's, let's move. Let, so, I, you know, there's some things you said last night that I think we might have missed. You know, and we, we've been working on this since you and I and Bobby talked the night last night. Um, you went, you went one, one grade here in, in Scammy County. And I think you said Tate High School. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and then you, then you transferred. You left, you left the state, correct? Yes, sir. And went to a, a military yes, academy. Sir. What? Uh, and where was that at? Salina, Kansas. Okay, and that, that was that a high school? Yes, it was a high school. Okay, you, you how many how, how many years did you go there? I was there until I graduated. So we're talking three years. Three years. Okay. And, and what did you do after you graduated high school? Uh, I went to college. I went to uh, Wentworth Military Academy in. Uh, Where is that located? Lexington, Missouri. Missouri. Okay. But uh, I was there maybe three months, and I didn't like it. So uh, I asked my dad if it was okay for me to come home. Uh, if he'd be mad at me, he goes, no, if that college isn't for you, just come home, go to PJC. So I came home after that. When did you come home, come back to that? Let's see, I went up there in... I went up there in August. Over. I was home for Christmas. Chris, this past Christmas? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you kind of dropped out up there, correct? Yes, sir, I did. Is there a reason you didn't tell us that last time? Uh, no, no reason. I was just kind of didn't really think about it. I mean, I wasn't there very long. Let me ask you this so we get everything right. Let's go back over last night again. Okay? Yes, sir. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me slow this down. We we, got, we need to record this again, okay? This conversation. Oh, okay. Uh, you have a problem with that? No, sir. But you want to yeah, I'll do, it. I'll do it. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I forgot. I just thought, so I was sitting there and just thought about it. Let me get this thing working. Thank you.
Okay. And, uh, and again, I'm Investigator Guy so you, and Investigator Watts. You know both of us, right? Yes, sir. And this is going to be involved in case number 09017289. It's a death investigation. And we're here with uh, Justin Billings. Is that right? State your name, please. Uh, my name is Justin Lloyd Billings. Okay. And I will make you spell it again because I know it's getting kind of repetitive, isn't it? A little bit, sir. Okay. And we're here at the Sheriff's Office and today is the 10th of July, 2009. And this will be our second interview with Justin. All right. And uh, again, so we, so we get all the facts because, and this is what happens. So you're not uncomfortable as the case goes on, and we'll have to talk to you more. Oh, I we do. learn different things. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So we have to come back to you and ask you questions that we didn't know to ask you the first time. Right. Does that make any sense? Yeah, perfect. So sense. don't feel uncomfortable. I don't, sir. And again, um, I want to make sure you know you came here on your own free will. Yes, sir. And you can leave. Yes, sir. At any time, you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, so at any time you want to, you can leave and step out. Yes, sir. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. So, and, and on that note, let's, I guess let's get started again. And let's talk about, let's start again. Let's, um, let's swear that. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you swear everything you're about to tell us is the truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's start again on Thursday night. Sir. The night. You and Greg were together? Yes, sir. Okay, I guess let's start there. Uh, you all together all day? Yes, let's sir. Let's start at the beginning of the day. I'm talking about from 8 a.m. Uh, we didn't wake up until about 10. Where uh, were y'all at? At his parents' house. We were uh, house-sitting because his parents were out of town. Okay. Uh, we were house-sitting, got up around 10, uh, went over to his grandparents' house, <clears throat> Borrowed the the vehicle because he had some job applications that uh, he wanted to apply for. Borrowed what vehicle? Uh, Ford Explorer. What color? Like a dark maroon color. Is it their parents? It's his grandparents. Okay. Uh, we borrowed it. We went to uh, we went directly to the mall and uh, we apply, he applied at two or three stores there. Then we went to the uh, Nissan dealership. Uh, he applied there. We started. We started looking around at cars. We were there for a while, looking at the new Nissan GTR. Then we went back to his grandparents' house, dropped the vehicle off, went back over to his parents' house, watched a movie, got a call from his grandparents saying, "You know, dinner's dinner's ready. Come on over and eat." What movie did you watch? I Am Legend or Bangkok. We've, we've watched so many movies that day. Can't that, remember what? That, I, I don't know. Like, we've watched movies because it'd be storming days. So okay. It's either I Am Legend or Bangkok Dangerous. And where y'all were watching these movies again? Inside his parents' house. Parents house? His parents' house. And then we got the call from his grandparents saying uh, dinner's ready. So About went, what time was that, do you think? 5.30. About 5.30? Yeah. Y'all went over to eat? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we went over, we ate. <coughs> um, we were there for a good while, I mean, because we stopped and we, we, were, we were eating, we were talking, talking about the military, talking about me going in, talking about Greg going in, so we were there for a while. Um, and then, uh, after we got out eating, we went back over towards Greg's parents' house. Got the call from my sister saying that we should, that I need to go back to to the to my parents' house. Something's wrong. To get there as fast as I can. Um, <clears throat> so we're heading that way. Halfway there, we got a call from April, and she's crying and screaming hysterically. I couldn't understand her. She, I asked her what's wrong. She said there's something wrong with your parents or or something. So. I hung up the phone with her and I continued driving. I got there, there were cops everywhere. Uh, I drove all the way down, got out, and I went to go towards the house and one of the sheriffs said, you can't